Welcome to the hot seat. And it's so hot, we're not even sitting, it's the hot floor. So I have with me today, President and CEO of JPS, Michelle Gantois, and I have Director of System Operations, Linkoy Small. And we're gonna jump right into it. It's all about renewables, solar, wind, water. First question, is it true that JPS is against renewables? No, of course not. No, we, we favor them or so. And I think we've been on, uh, on record very publicly we favor renewables. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great source of power generation. Um, it's, it, it reduces uh, emissions, so it's clean, good for us, good for the next generations. And uh, it, frankly, the current context with the war in Ukraine, it reduces our dependence on the fuel we need to import on the islands. So it's great. It makes us a little bit more energy independent. So we're very, we're very much in favor of it. So do you actually use it though? Do you actually have renewables? Yeah, we actually do have renewables. In fact, the grid right now has about 30% of its power coming from renewables. JPS owns and operates seven hydro plants and one wind turbine. And in addition to that, because you know the utility is no longer a monopoly, we have other private players who contribute power from different wind and solar plants. So we are into supporting the integration of renewables on our grid. Okay, so then guys, what is the problem? Why don't we have more? We're at 30%, but we're a tropical country. We have sunshine all day. I mean, this is a country that should be probably run on solar, some people feel. Why, why isn't it? And a lot of people feel that way, and that's a very interesting question, right? But if I can take it back quickly to 2016, when we put a lot of renewable plants on the grid, and one of the problems that renewables cause is sun doesn't shine every day. Last week in Jamaica, realize, um, a lot of rainfall for one week. The wind doesn't blow every day. So what do you do when there's not enough wind and not enough solar? Typically on an average basis, 30 to 20% of power comes from wind and solar plant. What happens the other 70% of the time, Audrey, Michelle? Doesn't happen. The good thing though, is that the renewables that we have, in 2019, JPS actually built what is called an energy storage device. And this device has helped us to combat a lot of those challenges from when the wind um, doesn't blow or the sun doesn't shine. And that was JPS's partnership to Jamaica to ensure that we can accommodate renewables to Michelle's point, which is to lower the fuel bill component of your bill. If you check your bill, your fuel component is about 50%. So JPS is in a partnership with the country, with Jamaica, to lower your fuel bill, but to ensure that we don't have disruption in our power supply. So are we going to go more into renewables? Can we expect an, an expansion from JPS in terms of renewables? Well, um, we may. Uh, but here, here, is the, here is the situation. We are looking at renewables by JPS for the country. We are also helping other companies to put renewables. And our commitment, of course, is to put the additional infrastructure transmission line to bring the power from where it is produced to where it is consumed. Because often, of course, we're going to put solar panels, wind turbines in remote areas, and we need to bring that power back to where we consume it. Mostly big, uh, area, big, big cities like Montego Bay or, 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 or Kingston. Uh, so we're going to help uh, other people put renewable. We are looking at putting more renewables ourselves. But to your point, what we're doing is also putting more of the uh, energy that is required when there's no sun and when there's no wind. So our role is not just to put more renewable, but also to put the batteries and the thermal plant that will be used when there's no wind or no sun. So we're doing both, looking at more renewable, but also looking at the more traditional way of producing electricity, such that the country never have interruptions or very few interruptions of electricity, because it needs to be reliable. And that's the main thing for everyone here on the island is when you come home you turn the switch and you have electricity you don't want to be told oh sorry there's no sun now there's a big cloud above the house you want to make sure that jps is there to help you if there's no sun no wind we're still there behind the scene and we switch on the other gate the gas plant in montego bay or, or here next to kingston and you still get the electricity the cloud disappears the renewable kicks back so i think it's this important like mix of renewable and thermal that we are looking in and implementing. That's more important than only renewable. Okay, okay. And is it that the cost of 
constructing and installing renewables is prohibitive? Is that a problem versus the regular, as you would say, thermal plants like the ones at Boga or Hunts Bay? How, how does the cost compare and how does that make it um, viable for us in this country? Renewables are getting cheaper and cheaper, that's for sure. And you see price quoted for solar panels, even wind turbines are going down and down and down. And that's a great thing. So the construction cost is, is, uh, is going down. But remember, they only run when you have sun or a wind. So you put a lot of steel in the ground, you, you, know, you prepare the ground, you, you, you do a lot of work for only using them maybe 25% of the time. So that's why it's expensive in a, in a certain way per unit of energy you get in, all, in your homes. Also, as you mentioned, they, they need additional uh, uh, transmission line or construction and they need batteries uh, to function when there's, uh, you know, to bring the electricity basically from where it's produced to where it's consumed. So they're not that cheap and, that, and that's what we have to be careful. It's a myth that, 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 that we hear sometimes that is extremely cheap. It is cheap, it is clean, it is amazing, but it's not a miracle cure. It needs additional infrastructure uh, to make it viable. Uh, so strong believers, but we have to be careful in how we look at the, the figures and the cost for all the consumers.